Time to run the no huddle here. First things first, start with Jags, Colts, where it was a win and you're in for Indy. A no-brainer, a no-doubter against a no way they're going to win. Jacksonville Jaguars team. Oh, but they did. Mm. Jags were all over Carson Wentz. Sacked him six times, forced him into two turnovers. Spent the day proving Nick Wright right. Jags in control from start to finish. 26 to 11 was your final. Nick Wright, how surprised were you by this? Oh, Jenna, how can you be surprised at Carson Wentz having literally the worst game of his career in literally the biggest spot of his career? To, you know, to, to steal a phrase and twist a phrase from the late, great John Madden, remember his all-time quote, I know a fumble, a fumble's a fumble, and that's a fumble. I know bad quarterbacks. That's a bad quarterback, <laughs> and that's a bad quarterback. Oh, guys. Hey, how I'm just curious. Are the Colts the most dangerous team that's already preparing for the draft? Should the Colts be sending trimmers through the spines of all the other teams that couldn't make the expanded postseason? Chris Broussard, I don't mean to be hyperbolic, but I went into the lab yesterday afternoon, and the lab I mean football reference, and I can't find a bigger one I think this is the biggest gag job in the final week of a regular season mm. ever. Your 16-point favorites against the team that is scheduled to have the number one pick of the draft, and you don't lose close, Broussard. Do. You're down, wire to wire, annihilated. I, I, I don't know what you do if you're Indy. I don't know how you can look your fans in the eye and bring this guy back. Carson Wentz is who we i'm sorry not we is who i thought he was terrible <laughs> can't win with him can win without him can't win with him so that's my takeaway broussard all what right what a disaster look nick i i just took you to the woodshed on brandon staley but i'm gonna give you some props on this one i i i i'm with uh -huh. you on carson Wentz. i'm not as far down on him as you are but this was just unforgivable. I'm sorry. I mean, there is no excuse for losing to the Jaguars. And he just didn't show up. We know he didn't throw for 200 yards again. He hadn't thrown for 200 it yards way but twice in the last eight weeks. Okay? Uh, he had the two turnovers, the interception we keep showing, and the fumble. He just didn't get it done. And I, I think here's what has to happen, Nick. Because we've seen this now for six years. We, this is not Baker Mayfield where he was injured and he's only played four years. We've seen six years of this now with Carson Wentz. Different teams now. Good coach with Frank Reich. I, I think Frank Reich is a good coach. Uh, I think they need to try to move on. I'm not saying it all Carson yes. is dumping. But Nick, his last two, they got three years left on his deal. The last two are not guaranteed. They could, they could pay him $15 yeah. million dollars next year and be done with him. I would rather have, now yep. you obviously have the big guys, the Deshaun Watson, Rodgers, Wilson. You're probably not getting them. I'd rather have Kirk Cousins. I would gladly take Kirk Cousins over Carson Wentz. So I think they need to start working on that, something like that, and try to move on. I take Jimmy G if he could stay healthy, but he can't. So I would, I would oh. just, I'm looking at Cousins. Carson Wentz with a better I'm haircut. The That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's keep Jimmy G in the magic of the Bay Area. I like that we want to move Kirk Cousins. We got Kirk Cousins going to Cleveland. We got Kirk Cousins going to Indy. Look, Carson Wentz didn't play great. Don't get, I'm not going to say he played great. I'm not saying the Colts should move on either. The, he did get sacked six times. Was that because the ball wasn't coming out fast enough? Like, no, that line was collapsing on him, Nick. And I would give a little bit of credit. I'm going to plant a seed of a take. What do you think about this one, Nicholas? The Jacksonville Jaguars, two years, going to be the new Bengals. Like it, number one pick. Showed a little bit of fire, just like we saw them play against the Bills play well. But I'm not really, I'm thinking, yeah. I'm giving more yeah, credit to Jacksonville than anyone else. Oh, Jackson, stop it. Well, he's, he's stop a, it. He showed some life. Stop it. Today. Jacksonville's some, not good. Carson Wentz no, got sacked six terrible. times. He got sacked six times. Jacksonville got You're beat by 40 last week. I forget who beat him, but I know the team who beat him last week stinks. Mm -hmm. And they got Greatest beat by 40. Oh, it was your Patriots. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, listen, yeah. folks, this is... The, I, I, I'm going to try to be calm here. This idea of I'm not going to say Carson Wentz was good. Of course, I'm not going to say he was good. I'm not a QBR guy, but his QBR was four. That's on a scale of zero well, to 100. And Jenna Wolf, I demand accountability from my fellow media members that tried to act like, and I'm not talking about the folks on this show, that tried to act like they were watching football on some higher level. You got to grind the tape, guys and see that Wentz is a different player. You got to really understand the trenches to understand why the Colts uh, uh, can yeah, make no the Super Bowl. Shut up. You can watch Carson Wentz for any half of his career of any season, except for the one fluke year, and no, you can't win with that guy. I want written apologies or resignations from folks that were like, I, no, the Colts wow. and Carson Wentz, they're dangerous. No, they're not. They're not.